Good morning and welcome back to Fly Tying Up Close. Today we're going to talk about trimming deer hair. In a previous video we talked about spinning deer hair and this is the result of that. Looks like a bad haircut. You can use two different types of scissors depending on which way you want your, your uh, resulting head to look. I use um, rounded scissors for a for a uh, rounded head and flat scissors for something like a square head on a hopper. But uh, just start, clip, rotate your vise if you have, have one, keep your scissors parallel to the hook shank and go all the way around. Don't go in too deep with the tips of the scissors and go all the way around one time. Just like that. Get rid of the <clears throat> get rid of the excess and take a look at what you've got. Obviously that's not deep enough. Go a little deeper with the head of the scissors. Make a deeper head on that, like this. You can trim up the the front to make a rounded head like that. If you have a a shoulder on your fly, for a muddler minnow, I like to have a, a belly that shows the body of the of the minnow. So I trim that out like this on the bottom. Looks more like the sculpin of the Yellowstone River that this fly was intentionally aimed to imitate. And yes, they work there as Dan Bailey's wall of fame will testify. Okay, there we go. Trimmed out. <clears throat> Ready to cast. Have a good day. See you next time.